And it was a very tenuous time in American history. They needed to get it right very quickly in order to keep the public's confidence in what they were doing. I, I'm Charlene Bickford, and I direct the first Federal Congress project at the George Washington University. The first Federal Congress project's goal is to publish the complete documentary record of the most important and productive Congress in United States history. They were left to create the whole federal government structure. They had to found the executive departments. They had to flesh out the judiciary of the United States. 17 volumes have been published, and we have three that are in page proof and indexing stage, and two more to go after that. We were looking for every single piece of evidence that relates to the first federal Congress. This is a letter from Representative Fisher Ames of Massachusetts. In this letter is um, commentary on the amendments that were introduced by James Madison, what we know today as the Bill of Rights. His final conclusion about the amendments introduced by James Madison. Upon the whole, it may do some good towards quieting men and may get the mover some popularity which he wishes. The first Federal Congress project got started in the 1950s with Ford Foundation grants primary funder is the National Historical Publications and Records Commission, the grant-making entity within the National Archives. We have collected about, I think it's 14,000 documents um, in the project's history, gone to every repository in the country that has documents dated between 1787 and 1791 which meant searching 93 newspapers in case some member of Congress sent a speech to his hometown paper. Over 600 petitions submitted to the first Congress. We worked with shorthand notes of debates. Every letter written to or from a member of the first federal Congress, they were still finding things. You know, new collections are still opening up. The Supreme Court has used um, our volume called Creating the Bill of Rights, and we're providing all the evidence for people to work with long into the future.